I'm Randy Maxine. Today I want to give you a really quick overview of Infinity's selection of Rabbit hand planes. A Rabbit plane is the perfect tool for fine-tuning joinery for a precise fit. Unlike a traditional bench plane, the blade or the iron extends all the way to the sides of the plane body. This allows the cutting edge to get tight into a corner of a joint like a rabbit, dado, or a tenon. You'll notice that there's another location for the blade in the double rabbit plane. And this is at the front of the plane body. This converts the plane into what's commonly called a bullnose plane. This blade position allows you to get tight into a corner such as a stopped rabbit or a dado. Another style of rabbit plane we offer features an adjustable sole. This allows you to adjust the mouth opening for thin or thick shavings. This helps the shaving curl up in a way to avoid tear out. One of the planes with an adjustable sole is a skewed rabbit plane. This means the blade is bedded at an angle relative to the sides of the plane body, unlike a standard rabbit plane. This skew angle is particularly useful for slicing through end grain, such as the shoulders of a tenon. As with any hand plane, when you first receive your rabbit plane, you'll want to remove the blade to sharpen it. Now to do this, turn the plane upside down with the back of the plane toward you. Make sure your hand is securing the blade and the wedge to prevent them from falling out. It's best to do this over the bench to prevent the blade from accidentally falling to the floor. Use a plane adjusting hammer to tap the back of the plane until the wedge and the blade come loose. Remove the wedge from the top of the plane and remove the blade from the bottom. Once you've sharpened the blade, to reinstall it, simply insert it into the plane body with the bevel down. Set the whole assembly on a scrap piece of wood, insert the wedge and tap it into place. Adjusting the cutting depth of the blade is a fairly simple process. With the plane upside down, tap the back of the plane body lightly to retract the blade. Sight down the bottom of the plane to judge your progress. What you're looking for here is a hairline projection of the blade from the plane body. To adjust the blade for a more aggressive cut, you can lightly tap the blade or the front of the plane body. Finally, make sure the wedge is fully seated with a couple of light taps. Adding rabbit planes to your shop is one of the easiest ways to up your woodworking game. There's no other tool that's more accurate at fine-tuning and finessing a joint for a perfect fit.